at the same site here in Connecticut, we have a lot of overgrowth that we had to cut back so that we could see the poison ivy and get to work with it. You can see these different beautiful colors of poison ivy leaves and there's still some that are green. Again, this had a huge overgrowth and the uh, overgrowth was overpowering um, the sun collection for this poison ivy plant. We have a corner post where there's a healthy old root and it's been cut previously. And you see the distinguishing black on the, um, on the, the damaged side of the root where it was, and then where it was cut off, you can see. This was cut back in June, it's now the middle of October, and the kind of cut that is easier to handle if you have to trim or maintain your poison ivy without digging out the roots, probably allowing a stem to grow up and cut the stem above the ground. And then it will do it. its multiplication here, sending out shoots all summer, where it's easy to just clip that and you, you just extract it and that's great. If you ripped it underground or right at the base of the ground, if you ripped it and left it there um, to multiply this same pattern underground, you'd then be digging this complicated root out from under the dirt. And it gets grips with little feeler roots, so it's not as easy to dig out. And it puts down a tap root straight down. This was a lot easier, even though it was overpowered by weeds, it was a lot easier to take out. Here's an example of a complicated root system that was cut at ground level. You can see the ground is up at this level and it's been, I've been, I've dug it down, um, down and around and out this root so that I could access it, see where it's running to. All this was under dirt. It looks like I just stepped on it to kind of ruin the effect I was going for. I had it slid back so you could see that there's a root down here. It's going pretty much straight down. And then over here is another root going down there, straight down. And it's, there's two actually, this blade is in between two roots and then there are several more that are going off into the ground. So digging all those out one at a time underground is much more time consuming than the example of just clipping this root off above ground. All you have to do is unweave it from the chain link fence. So you can see that the choice, um, there is one that is preferred over the other. If you have to trim your poison ivy root, then do not trim it down at ground level. Treat it like one of your favorite bushes. Um, trim it back so it's maintained. And because of the attractive bush like this with the colors in the fall, it's beautiful until, until you get ready to get it dug out. 